If Walmart tents is all you can afford, don't be ashamed to rent them out. If people are renting them out from you, they're not ashamed to rent them out. So just, just do it. There they are, Walmart. 10 by 10 canopy. What's up everyone? Lee here, I am the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And today we're gonna go over my light duty tents. You're probably thinking, why the heck would you wanna have a light duty tent, a light duty pop-up tent? Well, the reason is, is because there are people looking for cheap tents. And if they can't find a cheap tent, they're gonna go out and they're gonna buy one. But they'd rather come to you first. So this is what I do, and you can probably do this too, to rent out tents. Okay, so don't make these your go-to tent. Just start with them and then build up. As you gain more money, buy better quality tents. And I did this, and last summer I built my way up to uh, real tents. So let's, let's go in. Let's dive in. People are looking for cheap tents all the time. Uh, they'll go to their local classifieds like Craigslist or Kijiji. They'll try to find a secondhand tent. And those secondhand tents are a little bit hard to find. Uh, as soon as one goes up for sale, somebody buys it. So if your ads are sitting up there in the classifieds, then people are gonna rent them from you. For me, 10 by 10 pop-up tent, $35, that gets them in. And then once they're in, they see, oh my gosh, I gotta add weights, I gotta put walls on this guy, and therefore you're making the extra money off this. I don't recommend going into business doing completely this tent, I just recommend this as an entry level item to have in your arsenal. So I have it and people get roped in for it and I let them know like this is a light duty option. If you're just trying to get some sun cover, then this is great. But if you're looking for wind resistance or anything else, you might wanna upgrade to something better. And then I put them onto the next options. So just start with this tent and then build more. This is what's gonna funnel some money into your business. What about broken tents? Uh, the customer's probably worried. Like, oh, you know, we want the light duty, but uh we're not sure if it's gonna break. It's like, okay, we'll get a better tent. But if they don't wanna get a better tent, then offer them some insurance. So tell them that for $10 extra per tent, that it will be insured if it breaks. All that they have to do is return the broken tent and uh, you'll gain enough money that, uh, it should be enough money coming in that you'll end up breaking even. You could start doing these pop-ups for minimal money in. Anyway, so here is a uh, gig that I did today for uh, two 10 by 10 light duty pop-up tents. So check it out. So today I've got a delivery, uh, Monday delivery. There's a funeral in a backyard. Actually, we've had quite a few funerals lately. So I'm about 30 minutes away from the client. So um, I'll just send them a text message saying, hey, I'm on my way. Make sure and have uh, your ID and credit card ready upon arrival because they didn't uh, click to save it online so basically we're going to get their credit card information when we get there and then we'll set up So here's the 10 by 20 or the two 10 by 10 set up side by side, uh, both light duty. I've got some, uh, some ratchet straps that are just uh, mounting it down on every corner. So you see there, there's eight of them. Back here, there's uh, some side walls. The side walls just attach right there and uh, around. And yeah, this is the light duty pop-up tent set up, two 10 by 10s. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel and um, stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna be covering the opposite. So top of the line pop-up tent rentals. You stay classy.